Welcome to this week's episode of Brainstorm, where we give you a glimpse into the world of science for Wednesday, July 10th, 2013. We begin with news from the world of medicine. Researchers from the National Institute for Material Science in Japan have developed an advanced mesh that allows for simultaneous application of two cancer treatments. In the fight against cancer, you have probably heard of both chemotherapy and radiation therapy, but you may not have heard of thermotherapy. As the name suggests, this method of treatment involves temperature, as cancer cells are generally less resilient to heat exposure than normal cells. So the researchers began testing a combination thermochemotherapy on squamous cell carcinoma. Now this is not the first time both treatments have been used together, but until now they could not be administered simultaneously for maximum effectiveness. Thermotherapy can not only kill some of the cancer cells, but has been shown to make anti-cancer drugs more effective. To achieve simultaneous administration, they developed an advanced material combining magnetic nanoparticles, a heat-sensitive polymer, and anti-cancer drugs. When exposed to an alternating magnetic field, the nanoparticles naturally generate heat. This causes the polymer to contract and release the drugs. This allows for the precise control of both timing and placement for both types of therapies. Tests using cancer cell lines showed that this advanced material could trigger cancer cell death, and in precise timing with the magnetic field. The hope is that the small patches of this material could be placed virtually anywhere in the body using endoscopic surgery, allowing for two simultaneous treatments of a tumor using a simple external trigger. Next is another story related to material science, this time as it applies to energy technology. Scientists from Switzerland and Israel have been working together to determine an ideal electrode for splitting water. If you've watched Brainstorm for any amount of time, you know we love our water splitting stories. Sometimes referred to as artificial photosynthesis, it's simply the process of using some catalysts or material that can split water into hydrogen and oxygen gas using only sunlight. Often this is achieved with a combination of materials. Commonly, a standard photovoltaic solar cell in combination with a catalyst that helps the sun produce electricity to perform electrolysis. These scientists have been investigating a material that performs the entire process in one step. It's simply an electrode coated in rust, but not normal rust, iron oxide nanoparticles. The original electrode they designed began producing gas bubbles as soon as it was exposed to light. From there, they began perfecting it, using transmission electron microscopy to investigate the flow of electrons through the material, and comparing different manufacturing techniques. Currently, they have an electrode design that is as efficient as they predicted and plan to begin developing a mass production method. Producing hydrogen from sunlight and water using current materials costs around 15 euros per kilo. But using abundant iron oxide, these scientists hope to produce hydrogen gas for clean energy at around a third of that cost. Well, hope you enjoyed this episode. In relation to both our stories, if you could create an advanced material, what function would it have and why? Let us know your thoughts on that and all the stories in the comments.